What is up, humans of the cardboard? We've got Ban List Monday. It's so early. I mean, we have at least 10 days, right? Is there 30 days or 31 days in, in June? I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but we have the ban list revealed today, and it's actually not on like the official ban list page yet, but apparently Konami Europe has released what this next ban list is going to be. So let's get into it. Uh, I did get a slight spoiler because just just seeing the link showed the picture of some of the stuff, but let's just get into it because this is huge. We've been waiting for the ban list. We don't have another like huge product aside from like King's Court. We have to wait like a whole nother month and a, almost month and a half after King's Court to get Dawn of Majesty. So if we wanted things to change up, we needed the ban list to be good. So let's go. All right, starting off with the forbidden section. Guard Dragon LP. I said this in my video. I thought like if they were going to hit anything on Dragon Link, I think they'd stay away from anything specifically Rocket because we have more Rocket cards coming in uh, Burst of Destiny. Uh, so they go with something generic like LP. And listen, a lot of people are singing like, this doesn't kill the deck. I know the Gonami wants to kill the deck. Dragons have been one of the biggest, hypest, best, you know, most exciting decks for so many players. I mean, outside of Warriors and Spellcasters, this is like the next most popular type in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So that I don't think they wanted to kill it completely, but I do think bringing uh, taking away LP does make the deck just more susceptible uh, to certain things. Uh, like, like here's, here's my line of thinking with it. If LP is gone, that means that where people would be throwing a hand trap at LP, they get to throw that hand trap somewhere else. Um, and and it, it isn't that uh, that situation where like, oh, I threw a hand trap at the at the first thing I saw, then they just made something else that like still did something insane like LP. So takes away one more target for stuff like that, which gives them just less avenues to play through interruption. And I think that's pretty good. Um, and I'm sure to some extent their combos will, will hurt a little bit with this being gone. And then we see Zodiac Dryden. I didn't believe it. I really didn't believe it. I really thought Dryden was getting hit in the in the OCG was like they've had it much longer than us. It took us kind of a couple months to like catch up to them doing that. And wow, that's crazy. I mean, to be fair, we've seen some like pretty crazy like Zodiac lists doing insanely well. I mean, you could argue that they've been the best deck over the last couple of weeks. Uh, just so many people have been doing so good with them. And it's what's crazy is that like you just play like a 10 to 15 like Zodiac engine. Not even not even worrying about the Tri Brigade variant. And then people just get to play like 25 tech cards. And that's insane. You get to play like insane trap cards, a ridiculous amount of hand traps, so you're not losing uh, going second. And it gets the job done. So, and with Zeus, I think like this obviously has been the engine that abuses Zeus more than anything else. But um, very, very interesting. Cool. Good to see it. I mean, like, I'm. I'm a little hurt by it because I, I don't know if, if Dryden's really the problem, but I guess the engine has just been getting splashed and stuff and even generic, like by itself, it's been a problem. So, all right, cool. <laughs> Next up, the limited list. Okay, we have Miscellaneous Saurus 2-1. I had this on my list. Some people call me crazy. I think this needed to happen. I think the biggest problem with Misc is when you don't know they have it, right? So as a three of, they see it pretty often. If they're searching it off of off of um, Fossil Dig, then so be it, right? At least I know I have it, so I'm not throwing a hand trap into something that like I know is about to get fucked up. So I like this, okay? This is fine for me. This is a nice hit to dinosaurs. Um, they only have one miscellaneous source because of this, so it means on following turns, if you don't just like lose to them using miscellaneous source, um, they are going to be in a pickle, like not a pickle, but like they don't play as easily by going through Misk again and again and again. But as I have Purpura Pow Skullcrabat Joker, I had this guy coming off my list in um, in my my ban list um, prediction, but fully, um, I didn't know what to bring him out. I think one is just the start. We'll see if he does anything too crazy right out the gate, and if not, we will. Um, they'll probably slowly take him off. Cool. Oh wait, I like it. This is a nice subtle pendulum like bump but not uh but not you know what's his name the link to i can't remember his name electromite jesus then mirage stallio come oh sorry striker dragon striker dragon this is another uh hit to um to dragons this is cool um 
I think that the recurability and like the ability to like continually use striker dragons um, as grinds go on, like that's what's so busted, right? Is when they is when we have like <laughs> combo decks that also grind, like they get stopped, but like they can still play on following turns so easily because of stuff like strike multiple strikers. So striker one, I think, is a nice like little hit. I, I like it. Uh, then we have Mirage Stallio. Okay, that's a nice bump for Salamangri. I think the biggest thing to keep in mind here is I don't think this is like insane. It's just a nice card for them because their new like most powerful play is going through a line where you're like Splash Mage into Transcode, Transcode and Access Code and a like o OTK using like Update Jammer and like Access Code. Um, but here's the thing. If you use Mirage Stallio, he locks you into fire. So... Um, definitely changes some things there but i think it's a good card for them regardless i think well you have to find room for it i think it makes stuff like spinny way better because spinning into mirage stallio means it's just a good extender but also uh it stays in grave so every turn it gets to come back or at least next turn if we're only playing one mirage stallio so i think it's a nice card for them this could have come off a couple lists ago and the biggest card here these are some big cards miscellaneous source striker pretty big sky striker mobilize engage oh no and kagari's not put to one here which really scares me konami really wants strikers back in the format if they're gonna do this this is crazy engage to one i am ready to see more strikers wow okay it's strikers baby they're back <laughs> I think that's all it takes for them to be back. Semi-limited list, double iris. Okay, so same thing with like Skullcrabat. This came off like either the last list or the list before. Didn't do anything, so I think they're okay to keep moving it off uh, sequentially. And I think the same thing will happen with Skullcrabat Joker. If it doesn't seem too crazy, too busted, they can just move it back, move it back, move it back, keep going. Um, so nothing too much to say here. And then we get to the unlimited list. Only thing on the unlimited list, symbol of heritage um <laughs> okay i mean i don't know what those cards yeah this card doesn't seem too crazy right you can only activate if there are three monster cards with the same exact name in your graveyard so if you have all three copies of a card or you have to have a situation like cyber dragon cards that count as cyber dragon harpy cards that count as harpy lady engrave and you can just reborn one i mean that's it, it just reborns one but it takes so much setup i think this is fine i think we have much more powerful things in the game Sure, maybe they when when they when they thought Moss Reborn was too busted, this card was something like crazy. But I think for now, this is totally totally fine. So there we go. Here's our ban list. I think this definitely shakes up some things. I think Drytron's still sitting around, looking pretty strong. With Dryden gone, I think that obviously takes away Pure Zodiac um, from being like a forefront of the meta deck. But also, is Zodiac Tri Brigade worth playing? I don't know. Maybe you just go with pure tri brigade, and I don't think it's as good. Um, I still think it can be a solid deck, but I don't think it's that good. Obviously, with uh, LP and Striker Dragon, you've got hits to dr uh, Dragon Link. Miscellaneous Source, you've got a hit to Dinos. I think the only thing you can even argue is missing is like potentially a small Drytron hit, but I don't think it's necessarily needed. It, it it looks strong on paper, but it hasn't even been performing like out of this world post lightning overdrive in the last two weeks it's done pretty well but not like insane so they want to give it another format that's cool because they hit all the other like what you would call them like the three or four best decks um of the format and i like it they're making way for sky striker they're making way for maybe a return for salamangrate pendulums maybe got some pendulum support here this is this is a ban list i mean like is it perfect i don't know probably not and we'll find that out soon um, I'm sure there's stuff missing here that, that should be on here, but I think for the most part you're limiting the decks that have been the best decks for a minute And we also have a couple things coming back that might be very very interesting. So There we go There we go ban list July 1st. We got 10 days 9 days 10 days 11 days until we get this until this list will be live. I I think it's pretty good. Honestly, I like it I like what I'm seeing. Of course, guys, these are just my first impressions. I'll probably have more time to marinate on this. Maybe I'll make a video really talking about what's going on here, what was missed, what I wished happened uh, fully, if there was anything else. Um, thought more cards could have come off the list, that's for sure. But we did get, you know, 
uh, Skull Crabat and Mirage Stallio in Engage. So I guess I can't complain too hard. So let me know in the, in the comments down below your thoughts here. I want to hear what you guys think. What was missed? What are you happy about? Are you terrified for your life of mobilizing Engage now of Strikers coming back with in full, not full force, but in pretty powerful force? <sighs> Engage to one, man. Engage to one. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.